Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and whether you are new or you are back, I'm so glad that you're here today. Today I have an unboxing of Diamond Art Clubs, I believe fifth mystery box and I'm excited to get into this with you guys. If you have watched some of my fellow fabulous creators and others sharing their, their mystery box contents, I have good news for you. This is still going to be a surprise because the various mystery boxes have had a variety of different contents in them. And uh, when Diamond Art Club marketed these and, and announced them, what they said was that these uh, mystery boxes would include two of 10 possible never be seen, never seen before new releases, as well as one fan favorite, is that what they called it? Uh, but it's it just, it has been a really interesting mix and it hasn't been very predictable, even though, you know, in, in some people's cases, um, well, and I think in everyone's cases, if you went and looked at your order number, they assigned an additional number to your box. Like in my, in my case, mine was 001. Um, but I have seen people that have the same exact box number that have had totally different box contents. And so I actually have no idea what's in here. I have seen a lot of the kits that have been, um, the you know people have been sharing is like the new the new releases the number four scene kits but i don't know what's going to be in here i've tried to kind of skim past and also deliberately not looked at uh posts where it's been like i got box 001 and here's what my contents were i'm like let me i like a little bit of surprise i know everyone's excited but i just i wanted a little bit of surprise so we're gonna get into this today together and i will open up the kits to show you a bit of them at least the two never before seen kits for sure and i you know what I'm excited. <laughs> I love a surprise. I like when I get to uh, try something new. I kind of wish that I wouldn't even have known what the possibilities were, but it's that's okay. It is what it is. I did not pay for expedited shipping, though. I did purchase this box myself. I do. I guess maybe I should tell you, though, even though this is not something that was sent to me, um, I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate. They do sometimes send me sneak peeks to share with you guys for new releases, um, but I really strive to give you guys really honest feedback and content so but you know I just want to be transparent about that um they now Diamond Art Club when they were asked if they were planning to release any of these kits to give them like a normal release what they said is that they aren't planning to but just like with past mystery boxes when there have been particular kits that have had a particularly high demand they have gone ahead and done a regular release for them so um i don't know i honestly i have no insider info i don't know i know that the official party line if you contact customer service is, is that no they won't see a regular release but i just i i'm not sure i will gently advocate you guys um do not buy into the craze and hype that's happening in stash groups right now it's completely wild um, the craze is going to die down and you're going to be able to get your hands on whatever kits that you want. So just breathe, let the dust settle. Half of the people out there don't even have their, their mystery boxes yet. It's going to be fine. Everybody breathe. Yeah. Just don't, don't, and don't overpay either. So we have three kits in here. You guys see them? One, two, three. Should we start with the smallest one? Start with this one. Okay. I'm going to show you them one at a time. We're going to open them one at a time because I am drawing this out. I am shameless. I understand if you want to skip ahead and you're just here to see like what's in my boxes, but okay, this one's going to have square drills because it's blue. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Mary Mindy. This is one of the new ones that hasn't been released yet. Ooh, this is cute. This is by Hannah Lynn. And uh, this one has square drills. Now I did see, I believe, people saying that this was appearing in mystery boxes in both drill shapes. So we have the square drill version and it's 17 by seven by 24.7 inches or 45 by 62 ish centimeters. Really, really nice beginner friendly size. Um, I will go ahead and pop this open and we will just take a little look at, um, at what this kit looks like. I'm gonna show you guys the canvas and stuff. And I know some of you may have already skipped ahead, like I said, to see what else, what else is there? <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll keep this kind of abbreviated, not like my usual length unboxings, because I'm trying to uh, not give you guys a long video. If you're here for a long video, you're probably here yesterday for my year in review video. <laughs> that was really fun to do. I'm, I'm filming this uh, the day before New Year's Eve, and I am, um, I'm excited for 2024. Oh, this is like a nice little kit. Okay, so there's a little logbook sticker or you put it on the side of your box. We have a tool kit. Forgive me, but I'm gonna skip going through this because I want to look at the canvas. I invite you to take a look at any of my other Diamond Art Club unboxings where I do go 
into depth looking at the toolkit and stuff. But let's look at this canvas. Oh, this is so cute and little. You guys, Diamond Art Club has so many kits by Hannah Lynn and there's a reason for it. Their rendering looks really, really nice with her art style and she's so popular, so popular. That is so cute, you guys. Okay, pull this back just a bit to help it lay flat a little easier. There we go. Yeah, there's oodles of color blocking in this one. I know Christmas has passed, but how cute to have this one for future holidays. Okay, so we've got 36 colors. We have, oh, do we have a, it's not the new perforated plastic cover, it's just a regular plastic cover. Um, here's our licensing. Of course, this is legally licensed from Hannah Lynn. Mary Mindy. And then we've got their socials and their lifetime warranty. Let's look at the canvas a little bit. The fins. I like how her her tail, like right here at her waist, has like the fluffy uh, garland, like tinsel. Shells on the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. And then her face. Very, very, very characteristic Hannah Lynn. Um, it's all this black outlining that almost feels like a coloring book <laughs> that you're filling in. Um, it just looks so good. So good with Diamond Art Club style. This is gonna, this is this is really cute. Uh, we do have a pamphlet. There's some helpful info in here, you guys, that you can take a look at if you like. Here's a beginner video, VIP group, step-by-step -step instructions, tips and tricks. And then there's the mobile app. So there's that. Then here's our larger sticker sheet. You can see the original artwork in a little bit bigger form. There's a spot right here, start and end date. Mary Mindy by Hannah Lynn. It looks like we're gonna have four ABs and um, the color code system you see over here, by the way, is from the DMC color code system, the DMC brand of Floss. And at the end of Diamond Art, uh, at the end of the color code list in Diamond Art Club system though, sometimes you'll see some numbers that have a letter in front like these two, and those are gonna be another kind of special drill called Fairy Dust. So we will take a look at those those special drills really quick. Just go through these colors briefly. There is that color spread. I've got lots of 310, which is of course what we're gonna have with the Hannah Lynn kit. I'm gonna try to just, I think, pick out the special drills. So we have 111. This is one of the ABs, and AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights and have a nice iridescent coating on the top that makes them really stand out from the other diamonds and highlight the areas they've been charted. I see another AB right here is a white AB, 141. I see two of our fairy, or two fairy dust colors here, you guys. Z959 is kind of a darker aqua fairy dust. Now fairy dust diamonds, you guys, there is, a, there you go, a glitter coating kind of brushed on the tops of these and it gives it a shimmery effect and it's more subtle than ABs. They are my favorite, favorite special drill that Diamond Art Club has though. They're so pretty. <laughs> and then the other one, oh, actually here's two more special drills. Okay, so we had Z, Z907, that's our other fairy dust color. It's kind of a lime green fairy dust. And then we have 137, which is a brilliant blue AB. And there should be one more AB. It's another shade of blue, I see it right here, 120. So it's a little bit lighter shade of blue than the 137. Did we get all of them? One eleven. Yeah, we did. Okay, four ABs and two fairy dusts. So let's take a quick peek at where those special drills are going to be found. Down here in her tail, that's all white ABs. And then little bits of this fringe right here are the dark magenta ABs. We have some white ABs in her tail fin here, the white you see. Fairy dust colors. Okay, there's a dot or two of the blue fairy dust down here. Where's that lime green? Okay, the lime green fairy dust is the lightest green you're seeing throughout the trees. It's here, here, and on up and on up. That's the light green fairy dust. And then in the shells, do we have any? Maybe not. Um, but hopping back over here, these white dots you see are white ABs. And then there's a bunch of the darker blue AB right here and here. 
and over here and over here. Yeah, this like it's one of the middle blue colors in each of these patches of blue. And then I'm seeing oh, there's a little bit of white AB right here and there's more of the magenta um, AB here in her top. And then in her eyes, we have some of the lighter blue AB here and here and then white ABs in the center of her eyes as well. Um, this star, actually a couple of these starfish have uh, the pink magenta AB in them. I bet her hair, yes. Her hair has, uh, is this both shades? Yeah, both shades of blue AB, actually even right next to each other right here. And where is that blue fairy dust? I feel like, oh, there's little bits of it. Okay, there's some of the blue fairy dust over here and right here. And there's some more blue fairy dust right here and right over here. Okay, and there's some of it right here. And then some in this, like her swoop bang. We have some of the blue fairy dust and right here too. So um, lots of those blue ABs and fairy dust in her hair, uh, the green fairy dust in the tree, and then the magenta AB. Oh, there's some of the magenta AB in the star at the top, the starfish at the top of the tree too. So a lot of places I think you'd expect to find the ABs are where you're gonna find them in this one. So this is Mary Mindy in squares. Like I said, my I think what I heard is that this one is appearing in both drill shapes in the boxes, but this is a really, really cute one. So I'm gonna pack this up real quick. I'm gonna pull the box back over and we're gonna take out the second kit. One down, two to go. So that was one of the never before seen kits. And we have two more in here. One of these is gonna be a fan favorite that's been released before and the other is gonna be another never before seen kit. It looks like, are they both squares? Is that what I'm seeing? Which one should we grab? Okay, we'll just keep going in order. We'll grab this one. Oops, sorry you guys. Oh, this one feels heavy. This one has squares again, blue stripe. This is bigger. It definitely feels heavier than the other one did. You ready to take a look? Do you think it's gonna be a fan favorite or a brand new one? I kinda like wanna close my eyes now. Okay, ready? And here we go. Jellyfish Mermaid by Jamaica Murphy, or that's Jamushka. Oh, that is cute. Oh, that's super, super, super cute. Okay, that's my taste. <laughs> that's totally my taste. I was not expecting that. Uh, that's wonderful. I think I skimmed past this image every once in a while when I was just in groups on Facebook. Uh, but now that I'm actually really looking at it, I'm like, oh, that's really cute. Lots of dark colors, but let's get into it. So 37.4 uh, by 25.6 inches or 95 by 65 centimeters. Okay, so this is a big one. <laughs> uh, let's open it up. Square drills, man, they are releasing a lot of kits by this artist lately. Have you guys noticed that? Um, that's really fun. Lots of these like mermaids and fairies. I haven't worked on one yet, but I have a couple in my stash. Um, let's take a peek here. I've started trying to preserve like the plastic wrap on the outside of the box, which I did not used to do. You should just rip it off. But I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna say no to some extra protection on my kids. So, okay, so we have another toolkit. Again, I'm gonna pass on that one. Unless, are you guys wanting to see what minders I got and washi tape I got? Okay, we'll take a really quick look. We're gonna take a really quick look. We'll look at this one on the Mary Mindy one. <laughs> I forgot. I know some of you guys really enjoy seeing that. Let me see if I can just pull out the minders. Where'd it go? Oh, appropriately, where are you? Oh, stuck on the end of the tweezers. Uh, this Jamushka one, the underwater one, came with a dolphin minder. That's very perfect. And then, ooh, some kind of like, it's almost like 90s style floral washi tape. Fun. Uh, the the print and the, and the minders are random. They're not designed to coordinate specifically with the kit, but you know, I'm not gonna complain if it works out that way. Okay. And this one, oh cute. Okay, so I came with this cute little bunny minder. That's adorable. And then some like pink floral washi tape. So cute. Okay, so there were the minders for those two kids. <laughs> Didn't wanna deprive you guys of that. All right. So yeah, there is the logbook sticker. We're gonna get a better look at this original artwork once we open this up. Let's get into this bag. Well, this is gonna be too big to fit 
on screen, isn't it? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, this is big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, look at her tail. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Is this, this feels like the perforated plastic. I just felt, a, uh, yeah, it is. Okay, I'll show you that up close in a minute. That looks so good. Look at these scales. Okay, keep going. Oh, she is cute. Oh, shoot. I'm, I don't know why I'm saying oh, shoot. I'm so glad that I got this in my box. Like this is, this is really, really cute. Um, I love it. Look at her hair. Look at her hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is so fun. Okay, I, I don't always get to be surprised because I do sneak peeks. Uh, this is really, really fun to have been completely surprised by this. There's a good amount of color blocking, you guys. Look in the background. I'm seeing some color blocking. The jellyfish is, you know, I just did another kit that had jellyfish in it like a month ago. And what is up with jellyfish being pure confetti? <laughs> they totally are. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, I love her hair. So I feel like this is the size that it is because we need the detail on the jellyfish and in her face and some of her hair, maybe the scales too. But like a lot of this, a lot of this, and especially in the background, even throughout her hair, there's some linear color blocking, but the background has tons of color blocking, you guys. So even for the size, I don't think that this would be a really long-term kit, like a huge undertaking. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love it. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Ooh, this is a colorful one. We got two sticker sheets. Um, Jellyfish Mermaid by Jamaica Murphy, who I believe their Instagram handle is Jamushka. And there is that artwork. Oh, that's cute. I'm so tickled by this. That's so pretty. All right, so we have 70 colors, you guys. Diamond Art Club used to max out at 67 colors, so that's all they could fit on one sticker sheet. And they're like, you know, what? we'll just give you two sticker sheets. <laughs> we'll go more than that if we if we feel like the, the painting deserves it. So um, three ABs and one, two, three, four, five fairy dust. Nice. This kit also looks like it has some of the new 6000 series colors, which Diamond Art Club has just started. Um, adding colors. These are not in the official DMC color code. Diamond Art Club just, they make all their diamonds in house. And so they're just adding colors where there are gaps. Purples are one of those colors. There just are a lot of gaps in the DMC. So we're gonna have a couple of new purple colors that Diamond Art Club has designed. Um, here are these diamonds. I'm like, do I want to pull these out? I need to show you the special drills, but oh my gosh. It's gonna be so hard to get these back in here. <laughs> Okay, but I will do it for you. I will do it for you guys. I see a loose drill. Ooh, that is not promising. I don't like that at all. Okay, so here's the color spread. I actually just tried to like go through it without unwrapping it to show you guys. And it was just, it was too much trouble. I don't think I was doing it justice. So I'm just gonna carefully try to go through these strands with you really quick. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of 939 dark blue. Here is our first AB. 120, a nice big bag of this blue AB. One, two, three, four, five bags of 310 and three bags of 820. Lots of those darker colors. I don't see any, not on wood, I don't see any other drills spilling. There was this, there was one, one um, straggler drill I saw sitting on top of the packs of diamonds and I was like, ooh, I hope there's not a hole in one of these bags, but Oh, no, I see a couple more that have fallen out. I don't know what color those are in. We're just going to keep going, and it's just going to be future Katie's problem. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. And then here I see them. These just a couple, like, dark blues. Okay. This is going to be much easier to show you guys because a lot of these are in the smaller bag. So 111. That's the same AB we had in the last kit. Pink magenta. Then I'm just breezing through these. Here is our first fairy dust, Z3346. Kind of a foresty green, evergreen. Z703 is a lime green. The Z156 is a lavender. Do you think the fairy dust are gonna be in her hair or the jellyfish or her scales maybe? Lots of pretty jewel tones. Here is another AB. This is 122. That's a nice minty color. 
And then here's another fairy dust. It's a light blue Z3766. Um, looking to see. Okay. Here is our last fairy dust color. It's a white fairy dust. And then I think we've seen all of the other special drills. Yeah. We had the blue, the aqua, the magenta, ABs, and then the lavender, the two shades of green, the light blue, and the white fairy dust colors. Okay, so I see white fairy dust here outlining on her hand and the white in uh, this kind of magic or bubbles right here. That's white fairy dust. Over here in her scales, uh, her fins rather, the white here is white fairy dust, as is this bubble over here. I think that's the majority of the white fairy. Oh, there's some white fairy dust right here. There's a bubble and these dots in this jellyfish. And then uh, the magenta pink AB is here in the pink in this jellyfish. It is in some parts highlighting in her hair that is the pinkish magenta AB. It's all through here and up here. It's in this part of her hair as well. And this jellyfish has the pink magenta AB. That bright pink you see there is that. And then I see um, the blue AB, which I think is what we had the biggest bag of. There's some blue AB in this jellyfish. And um, it, it's a lot of it in the background, I think. Let me see. Okay, so there's this color over here. This is all, just huge chunks of that blue AB. There is some blue AB on the edges of her scales, which totally makes sense to me because it's like metallic scales, like light kind of glinting off of scales. We have a bunch of blue AB right here in this section, as well as this blue section right here. And I think that's most of the blue AB. And then we're kind of going in order-ish here. <laughs> Just the ones that are jumping out at me. Uh, so then like the minty AB, there's some right here in her hair. There's a big bunch of it right here. And then it is also over here in her hair. There's a line of it. It's yeah, a little bits in her hair. It's kind of the minty color. Just a tiny bit of it in the jellyfish. Like I see a line right here. There's a little bit of it down here. There's some of the mint AB right here and right here. Then we'll move into the other fairy dust colors. There are two shades of green fairy dust. We're looking for the letter X and the letter C. So um, the, which one was the darker one? Quick refresher here. Z3346. Okay, that one is the dark one, perfect. Okay, so the lighter fairy green fairy dust, actually both of them, the light green and the dark green fairy dust are both in this area right here. And six c is the dark one. Okay, and then I see some of the dark green fairy dust right here. Hmm, starting up here. Yeah, some of the dark green fairy dust right here. And just taking a look, how about up here? Yeah, the light green fairy dust. There's a bunch of light green fairy dust right here and then some of the dark green fairy dust as well. Light green fairy dust right here. A Bunch of the dark green fairy dust. Sorry about that. A Bunch of the dark green fairy dust over here. A Little bit of light green fairy dust. And then some more of the light green fairy dust down here. I think that's the two shades of green fairy dust. And then the light, oh, that blue fairy dust. I haven't even, we haven't even talked about that one. There's a bunch of that light blue fairy dust in her scales. There's tons of it. Um, mostly in these scales, just a little bit up here. And then there's, let me see, there's more, right? That was a bigger bag. Checking the various blues in this kit. Mm, maybe it was just in her scales. Oh, there's a little, there's some of it over here. Uh, there's a bunch of blue fairy dust right here. It's kind of in between some of the jellyfish tentacles, I think. And then I think there's a little bit of the blue fairy dust in this jellyfish as well. I might be missing some of that one, I feel like, but that about does it. So that's all the amazing special drills in this kit. This is a beauty, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am delightfully surprised by this one. So uh, this again, this was Jellyfish Mermaid. Jamaica Murphy, 95 by 65 centimeters. It's a big one, but it's, it's a beauty. So 70 colors, five fairy dust, three ABs, 
this would be a fun one to work on sometime soon. Oh, the perforated cover, the perforated cover, you guys, I, I mentioned that. Okay, so if you take a look at this, it actually shows up better when I peel it off the canvas. You can see it, um, that's the best way to show you here. There you go, you can kind of see, okay, see how the light's reflecting off of those lines in that cover? That is our perforated cover and it's a thick plastic. It is double-sided. It is also patented by Diamond Art Club, I believe. And it is thick enough that if you don't want to use it and you just want to peel it back and work how you normally do, you certainly don't have to use the perforations. But if you want to use them, all you do is just pull and they just peel apart. The size on these, I did measure them, uh, is four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters, roughly. So um, yeah, this one comes with that perforated cover. The handle in did not, but uh, this one did. So I'm gonna pack this up and we have one more kit to look at, which is the uh, fan favorite surprise. So that'll be fun. I'll be right back. All right, so final kit that's in here is gonna be a fan favorite. Now, I don't know about this one because I don't really have anything I think left on my wish list that's a must have, but I still feel like this, the pricing for this mystery kit was basically like a buy two, get one free, I feel like. So, you know, this is just gonna be a bonus. Maybe it's gonna surprise me. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull it out here. It's the last one and it's another square drill kit. <laughs> all the squares, all the squares. Um, and I really, I don't have any guesses. It's not obviously like, uh, it's not an obviously branded like IP, like it's not a Teletubbies or Marvel or DC kit or anything like that. So um, let's take a look, are you ready? And here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, they put a Dakota in one of these. This is Libra by Dakota Dietweiler. You know what, I already own this kit, so I'll have to find something else to do with this. But, oh, this one is really, really pretty, you guys. I do own this, don't I? Yeah, I think I did a sneak peek of this one. Um, so, oh, that's really pretty though. I'll give you, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I feel really, really bad to cheat this, but just in the interest of leaving this swell, I'll take a look at it, we'll open it up and we'll see if it comes with like a new perforated cover, I suppose. We'll look at the, the, the toolkit maybe. But this is a beauty. I'm just not gonna go into quite as much detail on this one, I think. Uh, maybe not go through the special drills, maybe I wanna, won't unpack the diamonds because I will just point you back to my unboxing video that I did for this one. So um, the Lieb the Dakota Dietweiler Zodiacs are really pretty and I've seen them completed and they're so, so nicely done. I feel like, did Diamond Art Club commission her or she's working with Diamond Art Club and is planning to release the whole series and I, I love it. So um, that's really funny that I ended up with one that I already owned, but that's part of it is they say specifically on the listing, you are not guaranteed to get a kit that you don't already own. I'm not mad. That's just part of the game. And hey, you know what? This is also a way for me to, I suppose, demonstrate that like influencers, do you, you know, content creators, we don't we don't get special treatment. <laughs> We're just getting the same box from the warehouse you guys are. Uh, so here is the minder. That's a really pretty minder. I might keep that. Um, and this washi tape. And then take just a really quick peek at the canvas. You guys can at least see it. But like I said, I'm gonna point you, I'm gonna point you over to my more in-depth unboxing if you wanna take a look at the uh, special drills and where they go. Oh, don't fall over. The <laughs> out of frame is just a ton of, <laughs> of boxes and diamonds and rolled canvases. Okay, oh, that's, oh gosh. Unrolling this, I'm just like, oh yeah, this is gorgeous. Okay, so it has the regular cover, not the perforated cover. I didn't think that they would have already ordered a new run of this one, but gosh, absolutely stunning, stunning. Man, it's breathtaking even looking at it again. I remember that there were a lot of special drills in the flowers and that all the white was special drills too. I think it was a white AB. And that's all AB I remember. This is a, this is a stunner. Man, that's gorgeous. Uh, the size on this one, 65 by 81 centimeters and has square drills. So you're gonna get all that detail and she's just gonna look gorgeous. So you guys take a look below in the description box. I will have a link to the unboxing video for this kit if you wanna take a look at what the different special drill placements are and whatnot. But um, if you haven't tried one of the Dakota Dietweiler Zodiacs, you really should. And I. Don't feel like you have to limit it to whatever your sign is. <laughs> I really feel like um, just go for whatever is speaking to you, and that's you don't have to just stick to the ones that 
are your sign. So, <laughs> um, this is absolutely gorgeous. And, um, I'll link to it on the website too, if you want to go buy it. So this is really fun. You guys to get into this mystery box with you all, we got some really fun kits. So we got, um, we got Libra and we have jellyfish mermaid jamushka we got mary mindy by hannah lynn not too shabby i know someone will be very happy with the mary mindy kit uh that i'm gonna reach out to and then a dear friend and then jellyfish mermaid i you know what of the ones that i skipped i skimmed by and saw glimpses of the artwork for what was coming in these boxes this is the one that i the only one that i think i got a glimpse of that i was like ooh. Just from what I got in that brief half second, I wonder if that's going to be one that I would enjoy. So I'm tickled that I lucked out and ended up with that one. And then Libra. So you guys, thanks for hanging in with me, hanging out with me for this mystery unboxing. I Diamond Art Club does these kind of, I was going to say not on a schedule, but you know what? They did one at Christmas last year too. So I don't, maybe this is going to be like an end of year thing. I don't know. But I just recommend, follow, recommend following them on social media. And that's how you stay up to date with if they're going to be doing special things like these mystery box, you know, really limited kind of uh, situations where again, the price point is really good, even though you don't know what you're getting. Um, and so I'm pretty happy. I knew I was gambling and I'm, I'm glad with what I ended up with. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you pick up a mystery box? What kits did you get? Was it the same or different from mine? And were they ones that you want to keep? Or are you like, yeah, I'm just going to go de stash or see if I can trade for something that I really feel like I need. So Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and week and feel free to subscribe if you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me. I try to do lots of unboxings and tutorials and reviews and whatnot, and I'd love to have you here. So thanks again for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful start to your new year. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.